All this month, get any smartphone 32 gig and under for 50% off regular price at Appalachian Wireless. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. While supplies last, two-year agreement required. It was a week full of excitement all around the region as teams competed in their respective district tournaments. Some for the last time, others advanced to the championships, and now they move on to the upcoming 15th region tournament that tips off Monday evening. Taking a look back at these championship matchups, first we talk about the ladies of the 15th region. Heading to McGoffin County where the 57th district tournament took place, the second seed of Johnson Central Lady Eagles came out on top over the one seed Paintsville. 59-38 in the title game, and now roles will be flipped. Johnson Central is now a number one seed, and the Tigers a two seed, heading into the 15th region tournament. To the DW Howard Fieldhouse for the final 58th district tournament that only features Floyd County schools. In the championship, it was South Floyd and Betsy Lane. The Raiders put on a show outscoring Betsy Lane by 24 points for their second ever district title in program history, and what a way to go out for the Lady Raiders. Final score was 51 to 27 as the Raiders pick up a number one seed in the upcoming tournament. From the 59th district, the Shelby Valley Lady Cats did it again and again, picking up their sixth consecutive 59th district title after defeating Pikeville on Thursday, 62 to 40. Earlier in the week, one seeded Belfry was upset by four seed Lawrence County as the Bulldogs advanced to the championship to meet up with Pike Central, where the Hawks took care of business in the 60th District Championship, defeating Lawrence County 57-41. The girls' side is narrowed down to eight teams, and now it's time to check out the boys' action from around the region. In the 57th District, the Johnson Central Golden Eagles made their seventh straight appearance in the title game and came out victorious over the McGoffin County Hornets. For the final time, South Floyd and Allen Central hit the hardwood for one last match between the two teams before their consolidation next season. The South Floyd Raiders and the Rebels battered it out, but the Raiders were crowned champions after defeating the Rebels 71-62, and now they can say they got the last one. From Pikeville High School, the 59th District Tournament was an action-packed game as the Shelby Valley Wildcats and the Pikeville Panthers suited up in the championship. It was back and forth all night long, but the Panthers made it to the line 40 times and those free baskets cost the Wildcats in the long run as head coach Elijah Justice and the Panthers pull out the win by a score of 60-52 in the 59th District Championship over Shelby Valley. And wrapping up the district championships in the 60th District, Timmy Dalton and the Lawrence County Bulldogs picked up a big 71-53 victory over the Belfry Pirates. Region tournaments tip off Monday from the East Kentucky Expo Center, beginning with girls basketball action on Monday and Tuesday, with the boys following later in the week. I'm Michaela Colley, and all of us at EKB Sports look forward to seeing you all at the games.